suspect if you are having a tilt test. My name is Pak Ao. I live in Kingston upon Thames. I am 73 years old. I'm here because I have chest pains and black owls. What we're going to do first is just ask you a few questions about the symptoms you've been having. Hi, I'm Siobhan. I'm a specialist cardiac nurse. The tilt test is for patients who are having symptoms of dizziness or blacking out. And it's a specific test that involves the patient being tilted to a standing position, usually somewhere between 60 or 90 degrees. And we try and see if we can get the patient to feel some of the symptoms that have been bothering them while we monitor their blood pressure and their heart rate. And then we can see if there's any kind of association between the two. We put the lights down, make sure it's nice and dim and quiet. And that's because we don't want to stimulate the patient at all in order to make sure that the test is really valid. I know I'm in safe hands. In fact, I am looking forward to the test. So overall, a tilt test appointment usually is just over an hour, but the actual tilt test itself can take anything between sort of 15 minutes and 45 minutes actually tilted in the upright position. We get them to put a gown on their top half, and if you're a lady, you leave your bra on as well. And then we just attach three electrodes to the skin on the chest, and that's to record the heart rhythm. We put another uh, blood pressure cuff on their arm, and then we put another device on their finger, and that also measures blood pressure. There we go. OK, so we're going to tilt you up now. Mm. OK, should feel a little bit weird, but it shouldn't be unpleasant. OK. So we tilt up for 20 minutes. Just relax your arm. That's it. You OK there? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Fantastic. Sometimes we encourage people to carry on um, with the test, even if they're getting some symptoms. If we feel that we haven't got enough answers um, in terms of blood pressure and heart rate to give an answer to what may be causing the symptoms. Any dizziness? No. Am I supposed to pass out? No, no, no. You just tell <laughs> us how you're feeling. But the patient's always in control. If they want to stop because they've had enough, then that's always fine. After 20 minutes, if they're feeling OK and nothing major has happened from our point of view, what we'll do is we'll give them a spray of a medication called GTN. If you open your mouth and lift your tongue up, that's it. There you go, all done. You can close it. It makes the heart rate a little bit faster, makes the blood pressure a little bit lower, and it's like a little extra stimulation, a little extra push to try and get them to feel some symptoms. After the spray, it's another 15 minutes, and then that's the end of the test, and we'd lie them flat. If the patient has had a positive tilt test and they may feel a little bit groggy or unwell after the test. You OK? Yes, yes. We usually give them a few minutes to recover, make sure they're feeling better, and then we'll go through the results with them. We usually suggest that it's a good idea to bring someone with you when you have a tilt test. So if you do feel a bit unwell, you've got someone to take you home and look after you. I was expecting some, <laughs> some physiological change in me, uh, but nothing seemed to have happened. <laughs> You said during the test you weren't feeling any symptoms, is that right? I didn't, no. no I nothing didn't at all. Anything. But we did get some useful information. Mm. So no matter what the result of a tilt test, we always send the results back to the referring doctor. Um, and particularly in Mr O's case, because he didn't have any of the symptoms that he's been complaining of, we'll call it inconclusive, but it's all really helpful information that will definitely help towards the diagnosis for him. I was treated well. Uh, yeah, I'm pleased to have the test. I, I hope <laughs> I'll prod on for a few more years yet. Coronary heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time and every donation to our shops will help.